Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jolene. I typically post like fashion and lifestyle videos and then I also share some beauty videos and I wanna start sharing more of those. And I just got an exciting package from Giorgio Armani. So I thought it would be perfect to do like a first impressions review type video, trying out the products for the first time. This is what they sent me, the Luminous Silk Primer the luminous silk concealer the packaging is so nice too very luxe and then we have the luminous silk foundation and obviously this is like all over the place people always talk about how good it is so i'm excited to try it for myself and then the fluid sheer glow enhancer it looks really pretty and the last one if i can get it out is the luminous silk glow setting powder it looks really pretty so i'm excited i haven't used like a setting powder like this in a while it also comes with a little brush i probably won't use that brush but if you were out and you needed something it has like a compact brush in it so i kind of already primed my face but we have to try the hydrating primer so i'm gonna try it i didn't really like, put a primer on specifically it's the indeed nano blur color corrector the green color corrector i'm obsessed with this it literally works so well i get redness on my nose and my cheeks under eyes like up through here and I swear it works so well. And it also has like a blurring effect too. But anyways, that's beside the fact. I'm just going to apply it with my hands. It looks very like milky. Feels really good. It definitely feels hydrating and like silky on the skin, which is great. So I definitely have dry skin. So anything hydrating is what I need. It feels really nice. So I basically sent them like a range of like three shades and then they would just send whatever was available within those three shades. So hopefully these match my skin tone. All right, I'm gonna start with the concealer. place it where I would normally place like my other concealer and hopefully it works the same all right let's blend it out okay, I have my beauty blender it is a little dirty because I used it one other time before this but I didn't want to clean it so whatever I have it a little bit damp and let's blend this out <music> Okay, it's definitely more like liquidy than the foundation that I, or not the foundation, than the concealer that I typically use. So that feels a little bit different for me. The gardener's just started and you guys can probably hear that. That's so annoying. Okay, cool. Okay, at first I was kind of like, I don't know if I like this. I feel like it's not gonna be full coverage enough or cover like my redness, but I actually feel like it, once I kept like blending it in and patting it into my skin, I feel like it looks nice now. I really was not sure at first. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more just because I'm tired today. Okay, I feel like it looks pretty good. I had to add like three layers of it for me to feel like it looked full coverage enough for me today. It doesn't look like cakey or super thick so far, so that's good. We are moving on to the foundation. I'm very excited to try this. It has a pump applicator, so I'm just gonna pump it on my hand. All right, definitely is more liquidy than the foundation that I normally use as well. Okay, my first impressions are that it doesn't blend into my skin as seamlessly, I feel like, as my other foundation that I use, but when I tap it in i feel like it kind of helps that and pushes it into the skin a little bit more but i'm curious to see how it is like long wearing and i am going to pilates later today so we can definitely test it out like i need a little bit more can't tell if the color is correct to be honest i feel like it might be a little like yellow compared to my rest of my skin so hopefully once i put on my contour and stuff that will help in my blush and everything like make it more warm and more of a, like a red 
undertone. It looks more yellow, I feel like, on camera too than it does in person. That's kind of what we're working with now. I feel like it does look like silky and dewy, but I'm still just not sure. Maybe I have to test it out for longer than just one time to like see how it lays on my skin or maybe it's just the coloring that's throwing me off a little bit i'm not sure but let's do i don't know if i i typically do my powder after i do my contour and blush so let's just do it the same that i normally do and see how it comes out after <music> looking a little bit better with my normal skin tone now that I've contoured a little bit so that's a good sign okay now that I'm looking at the application of fluid sheer I'm almost wondering if I should have like mixed it in with the foundation because applicator is like a pump applicator as well I don't know maybe I'll have to try that next time <music> I don't know why it just hangs right here. Okay, goodbye. This is what it looks like with my contour and blush on. Let's try this. I really want to make sure that I don't have any creasing under my eyes before I powder. That's where I get like most of my creasing. So I'm gonna pat that with my beauty blender very well. And I'm just gonna use this brush. Using this type of setting powder reminds me of the MAC setting powder that I literally always used in high school. I always used translucent powder, so this is bringing me back to high school using this, even though this is like a way better product than the MAC probably was. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I usually just like pat my powder in, like I don't swipe it so that it doesn't move any of the other product around that I already placed. And then I'm going to Make sure I don't have any creasing in my forehead too before I place the setting powder there. So that's another spot that I get creasing. Okay, I don't typically put any product on my eyelids except powder. So I'm just gonna add like a little powder to blend it in like along my eyebrows. Cause I don't like th that area to look like shiny. So far, I feel like it feels pretty good on my skin. It seems pretty light. My under eyes feel, um, a little bit like dry for some reason but it also feels really light on my skin if that even makes sense it doesn't feel like i have a lot of product under my eyes but it does feel a little dry i feel like this looks really nice on my skin especially on camera like when i look at it on here it looks really good and in the mirror so i think i like it so far let's try out the fluid sheer i'm a little nervous because of the applicator but let's just see how it comes out it's definitely a liquidy consistency, but it looks really pretty. I'm just gonna use my fingers to apply it on my cheekbones and my nose. A little bit on my forehead. Okay, I feel like that looks really pretty and glowy. I don't know if this is like where it's supposed to be applied or how it's supposed to be applied because it is kind of liquidy so i'm wondering if maybe it's supposed to go in with your foundation or something and just like all over the face to give like a really glowy look but i do think that the consistency of it is really nice like it doesn't look like glittery like some highlighters or illuminators do so that's really nice but i'm just not sure maybe i used it incorrectly i've never like looked up this product specifically and how it's like typically supposed to be used but that's just how i I'm gonna try it out today. Okay, so that's like all of the Giorgio Armani products that I got. I'm just gonna finish up my makeup off camera and I'll be back. Okay, you guys, this is the final product. I actually love it. It took me a minute to like let it set on my skin and like finish my makeup to see the full effect of it, but I do think it actually does like look like luminous and I think it's really pretty. It is a little lighter like on the concealer than I typically use because I use like the Merit concealer and I feel like that's a little bit thicker and gives me a little bit extra coverage in my under eyes, which I like a lot. So I think if I wanted like a lighter makeup feel, this is 
good and then I feel like the primer made the makeup set really nicely after it kind of like set into my skin and then the luminous silk foundation is really really pretty it feels a little bit more full coverage than the other foundation that I use I really like it I probably wouldn't use it like as my everyday foundation I don't think unless I started using it more and then I was like I'm obsessed but I want to try it and mix it with the fluid sheer illuminator i feel like that could be really pretty but i do feel like my skin has like a very nice healthy glow to it right now which i like i just went with like a little bit more of a natural makeup and i think it looks really pretty but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and please make sure to subscribe to my channel it means so much to me when you guys do and let me know what other types of videos or beauty videos that you want to see on my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye!